हे गाइज इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू हाउ टू ट्रबल शूट पी आई आर मोशन डिटेक्टर्स एंड गेट इट वर्किंग प्रॉपरली पी आई आर सेंसर्स डिटेक्ट्स और रीड इन्फ्रा रेड रेडिएशन एमिटेड फ्रॉम ऑब्जेक्ट्स अराउंड इट इज व्यू रेंज एंड गिव आउटपुट सिग्नल सो हेयर इज द सर्किट हेयर आई यूज नाइन वोल्ट बैटरी एंड सेवन एट जीरो फाइव आई सी टू सप्लाई फाइव वोल्ट रेगुलेटेड वोल्टेज टू सेंसर and i recommend you to use this ic because one of the reason pir sensor gives false output is this it require regulated constant voltage and it can be seen that it works perfectly on 5 volt so no need to give more than that detector has three pins vcc where we give 5 volt supply through 7805 ic output pin it basically sends high signal of nearly 3 volt when the motion is detected and sends zero volt signal when there is no motion and then i have used transistor as a switch so whenever a detector detect the motion it send high signal to the base of the transistor connected with the output pin of the detector so when the transistor turns on it turns on the relay circuit and relay turns on the main circuit of buzzer and led and we get the output detector has two ports that is potentiometer one is used to control the sensitivity of the detector or range it can detects up to 7 meter and another port is for delay timing used to set the turn on time of the output you can vary it from 5 seconds to 200 seconds now this is the minimum side of the port set both the ports to it is minimum position that is minimum sensitivity and 5 second delay for testing later you can change the sensitivity and delay time as per requirement Now let's test the circuit. Place your setup in such a way that there will be no motion. After you turns on the supply, waits for the 60 seconds. In the beginning you will see erratic behavior of sensor. It may turns on and off several times without detecting any motion. This is perfectly normal. Sensor takes maximum 1 minute to stabilize. Now once the LED remains off You can move your hand or anything for that matter in front of the sensor and see the LED go on and off. So this is how you can troubleshoot PIR motion detectors. If you want to turn on and off AC voltage loads then you can use this circuit I have used previous circuit just for testing I hope that you understand how to troubleshoot PIR sensors